It was pink and I've made my way down and the squirrel is dead, you know? Into this gun. Do I have to bend over? And I'm not 64 years old. This is so sweet. This is huge. What? You didn't even tell me you cut into me yet. Your legs are spread open wide. Okay, so you have featured class. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Saturday. What up, Wagwan? It's Mena. <laughs> and we're in my bathroom right now. I just showered. I'm lotioning up my body. It's Saturday and I worked, oops, something's in my eye. It's Saturday and I worked out. I'm happy about it. Gotta get things together. Sick and tired of being sick and tired, you know. We all we all know how that goes. I do have a towel on, I'm not in the nude, okay? Let me show you the, the body lotion that I'm using. This is the Josie Marion Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter. This one has a pineapple fragrance to it. I'm not a fan of it, but it's a really great product and I don't wanna waste it. So I'm obviously going to use it, but I don't like the pineapple. I've used several tubs of the unscented one, which was fine. I wanted one that had a fragrance because I'm like, it would be so nice if this had a scent to it, but I don't like the pineapple. I will look and see. I know that there are other scents. I know that there's gonna be a rose one. I'll look and see, but I am gonna just finish this because I don't like to waste. And this stuff is really, really good. So like what? I'm not gonna waste that. Getting ready right now for the day. I'm gonna do my skincare and show you one or two things. One of you suggested this to me on Instagram. It's this deodorant by Certain Dry. I had never heard of it and it's prescription strength. I've used it for two days now. I like it. I'm gonna be using it and seeing how I feel. It takes time to dry, which is like kind of annoying. <laughs> I'm used to using the cream type deodorants, like the one I showed you, the Arm & Hammer one in my Target haul. So this is like, okay, we need this to dry a little bit. I'm gonna start off my skincare with this First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pad. They exfoliate, tone, and brighten. I like these because they're already soaked up. And you just take, did I grab two? I grabbed one. Oh, I grabbed two on accident. Okay, excuse me. Let me put one back. Put one of these, put one of these bad boys back, okay? Just rub it all over the face. Now, I had, I had done a quick skincare earlier when I woke up because when I'm gonna work out, I don't do too much to my skin. When I first wake up, my skin is, in most part, well, my skin is dry on my cheeks because I make my way to my cheeks when I sleep. That's just what it is. Ideally, we sleep on our backs so that our chest doesn't wrinkle and so that our face doesn't get dry. But come on now. Right, so uh, my cheeks are normally dry, my forehead, my nose is normally fine. So when I woke up, which is usually what I do when I'm planning on working out, I just rinsed my eyes and then went in with hydration. So I used an essence on my face and then I put, um, um, I put a moisturizer SPF on. It was this one from Supergoop. Did that and then I was showered. So the one thing that I've been failing to do is using a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil when I'm even wearing SPF. So I use, obviously I do it when I'm wearing makeup and I use that to break down everything and then go in with my actual cleanser, which is the facial face wash. But what's important to do is actually use a cleansing balm even when all you have on is your skincare and your SPF, okay? Because the SPF more than likely is a waterproof SPF, but even if it's not, it's a product that needs to be broken down, okay? I use chemical SPFs, which absorb into the skin. I have no problems with that. I'm opposed to the mineral slash physical SPFs because they're the ones that are gonna make me look white. Either way it goes, you should use a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil to break it all down. What does that mean? Take that product, rub it on your hands, rub it all over your face as if it's a lotion, rinse that off, then use your facial cleanser and then rub it in, rinse that off and then work your way into your serums your eye cream if you want to use that and then your moisturizer if it's morning time use an spf last step and call it a night i've been using this one lately from pharmacy it's so beautiful i love the packaging this was sent in pr and what's fun about it is at the top it was pink and i've made my way down and then in the inside it's yellow so it had two layers that's pretty cool and it makes so much sense when looking at the packaging that they did that so i love that otherwise when you cleanse your face you're not getting your spf off in its entirety and that can cause breakouts when it comes to my serums this morning i've already sprayed my face you already know I spray it with a mist so that my face doesn't get dry. I lotion my body first, so while I'm doing all of that, I don't need my 
face to dry off. It's combination, but my skin concern is dehydration. This is the first Ape Beauty Niacinamide Dark Spot Serum. Putting this on nice and hydrating. Skin is nice and soft and plump and plush and just beautiful and amazing. When I always take my products and bring them to my hands. You already know how that goes, okay? Products down to the hands. I've already done my lip. You already know Laneige lipstick mask. I don't use this just at night. This is an all day thing, excuse me. It's very hydrating, hello. Like Monica Stalmus would say, excuse me. <laughs> It's all day wear, hello. Okay, so we've exfoliated. I just did my serum. I could do another serum, but I do wanna finish this off because I don't like to waste. So let's just finish this off. I'm gonna do the Super, Super Goop Play 50, SPF 50 Everyday Lotion. Two fingers, cause you know, you know how it go. There's something on my hand, okay. Two fingers, all right. And then a rub, rub, rub. This of course looks white right now. It's going to absorb into the skin. So this is a product where it's a moisturizer and an SPF, so you have choices. You can do an SPF that's a standalone product if you have a moisturizer that you prefer to use, or if you wanna do a one and done situation, you just go with this. And it's a two in one, okay? See how it has absorbed, okay? You might still see a little bit of a cast, but once this is fully absorbed, I don't be seeing nada. This product, let me show you. So the cheat, the cheat code that I use to just quickly figure out whether or not this is a chemical or a mineral slash physical sunscreen is turn it down to the back, active ingredients. The first one I see here is avobenzone. Avobenzone tells me that this is chemical. It absorbs into the skin. You need to apply it, I think 30, 40, something like that, minutes before you go outside. I just, I mean, you're, listen, UVA and B rays come through the window, so it just is what it is. I just use this anyway. Okay, so you see the avobenzone there is the first one. That is what tells me that this is a chemical sunscreen. Now, if it were to say zinc oxide or titanium dioxide, is that what the other one is? My, my, my. That's when I run. I said the good thing about this one is the back of it says clean chemical sunscreen actives. So, although it's a chemical sunscreen, it's a clean chemical sunscreen. Boop, bloop, bloop, bloop. All right, so this one, this one indicates that you need to apply it at least 15 minutes prior to sun exposure. Okay. So right there, there you have it, all right? Oh, I didn't realize that they were in San Antonio. Ow, hi. Boom, now, that is done, let's see. Fragrance, what fragrance? I don't have any more fragrances here. I have my Dirty Lemon, but that's not what I wanna wear today. My, my, my. Oh, I have fragrances in my closet. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get ready for the day. We're headed to Typhoon, Texas today. Have you heard of Typhoon, Texas? It's a water park, it's open, and we used to go there two years ago, but then with COVID, we didn't go. It's open now, so we are gonna go to Typhoon, Texas, and maybe I'll take you with me, depending on whether or not I'm gonna go in the water, because <laughs> I can't carry this camera. It's a water park. <laughs> Depends. Depends on what I plan on doing. <laughs> Typhoon Texas now, people. It took us forever to get through. Okay, let's go to the kids section over here. It's nice and fun. And this place is way more packed than I expected it to be. My Lord. You can't even find anywhere to sit, so I'm just sitting here on the ground on the little ledge. This water is gonna collect, and then it's gonna come pouring down. This place is, ooh, that's cold. That water's cold. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. It's Sunday. Wagwan. Back from church. And you know I normally don't wear a red, but I'm wearing Maybelline Pioneer. I don't know how I feel about it. It's really not floating my boat or finding my lost remote. We've gone over this several times, so you're very familiar with that, with that phrase. You know, I... Mm, it looks really pretty. I just have an issue with red because red makes me think of my mom and I'm not 64 years old. <laughs> I'm just not, you know. That's my only issue with red. I she wears it all the time. So she played it, she played it out for me. She killed it. She killed the whole thing. The squirrel is dead, you know. So it just turns me off to wear red. <laughs> I don't want to feel old and wearing it makes me feel old. I went up on this side with my lash. So now it feels like it's too up. <laughs> So if it is, I don't want to hear it, okay? It's just what's happening right now. The sun just came out 
It's been a cloudy day today and it's put a little bit of a damper on our plans. I wanted to go back to Typhoon, Texas. Yesterday was so fun and relaxing. I stayed up. Yo, it took me four hours to edit the latter part of the little vlog. That's crazy, man. Yo, stuff takes time. Wow. So I did that last night and I went to bed like around 10. I got up today around 5.30. I did work out 30 minutes, body weight, Sydney Cummings. Yo, it was tough, but I did it. And here we are. I just finished recording stories for a brand that I had to do. And I'm going to go and take all this white off. I'm wearing all white kind of with blue jeans. I'm going to go take this off so I can be free. I feel very stiff with white on because I don't want to stain myself. Hello. I want to change my lip, but then again, this Maybelline stuff, it be on. When it's on, it's on. So I'm not going to try and take this off. It'll ruin everything. So it just is what it is. It's very comfortable matte. These matte li liquid lipsticks are very comfortable. You see how there's even a sheen to it? It's very brilliant how this is created. There's a sheen to it. It's fantastic. It's great. These mattes are great. Anyway, happy Sunday. If you're a mom, happy Mother's Day to you. Oh my God. So the bell just rang. Oh, well, I was sitting down in my office and I saw somebody pull up and I'm thinking, what are they doing here? I'm not expecting anyone. Why is there a person pulling up in front of my house? And thankfully where I sit in my office, I can see when anybody pulls up. So I get to, they, I meet them at the door and they be like, what? how does she know I was here? Let me turn this off. So this lady walks up. So she gave me this bouquet of flowers. Look at this. I've never, ever gotten such a big bouquet of flowers in my life. And not only that, it's from First Aid Beauty. Let me get the card. That is so sweet. I was not expecting this at all. And you know, I just ordered flowers last week and they come in in two days. I want to have two flowers on my kitchen counter. I don't even know what to do. This is so sweet. This is huge. Oh, I am so happy. Wow. I am in shock. I am just shocked. These are gonna bloom so beautifully. I'm gonna put these on the dining table so we can get some sun. I am so grateful. Wow, wow, wow. Hannah and Nicole, thank you so much. This is sick. This is sick. As an influencer, there are some partnerships you'll do where it just feels kind of dry, you know, like a transaction. You do what you get it done. It just is what it is. Working with First A Beauty for five months almost six months now, has been such a treat. It really, really has. It has been so sweet. Like, it's very obvious that they're interested in knowing who I am as a person. So grateful, flowers make me so happy. I'm just so grateful to be partnering with a brand, with a team that cares and like just cares and like pays attention. Wow, 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 wow. I'm so happy, thank you. Tell me where does this roller coaster reach the sea and stop the coasting? Used to be far with no destination. Honestly, now I'm damn sick of it. Looking up, trying to touch the surface. Am I breaking through? No, it's just the same old. You know how I used this yesterday? The Sunday Riley Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. And then I put my moisturizer on, which was, well, it wasn't a moisturizer. It was this. 
what was this one glow recipe watermelon glow sleeping mask yes so it was soothing glowing and it is supposed to peel the way that it did when i first tried this i hated it i thought the peeling was not supposed to happen so i was just like why is this peeling this is horrific well i spoke with the, with the owner of the company and the co-owner of the company and she told me that that's intentional so i was like oh okay so it did what it was supposed to do and what is amazing about that peel is underneath the skin it feels so hydrated it's pretty cool anyway with this sunday riley good jeans all-in-one lactic acid treatment i don't use this often but i do it again and i'm like i need to use it more often because it is so good my skin feels noticeably smoother and i put this on one night okay so it's a high potency purified grade lactic acid exfoliate and exfoliates dull pore clogging dead skin all right it's super concentrated visibly reduces the look of dark spots and discolorations it's clinically proven to immediately plump the look of skin okay you apply one to two pumps and you, I, I, believe, I believe I applied one big pump, like one full pump yesterday, I can't recall. Put it on dry skin as a leave-on treatment and it can be applied with their, they have a moisturizer. I think they said to do this like once or twice a week. That's why I don't do it often. This thing is good. Like using it yesterday reminded me, it feels a heck of a lot softer. So if you are in the business or if you're in the market for an overnight exfoliating treatment, that one is really, really good. It's a really powerful product not to be used too much. You know, not to, because I do different, different exfoliating. I exfoliate with different products. You get it. I know it's confusing. It's my job to try different things. And I love that way of exfoliating because it was easy. You put it on and you, you wash it off in the morning, basically. It's absorbing to the skin, but you know, to start fresh, just go ahead and wash it off. Anyway, good morning. Hello. All right, let me show you something that I just did. I wanted to put a fragrance in my purse. And I've had these for a while. These are from Amazon. These are called uh, atomizers, atomizers. I don't know how you say it. I got an accent. Atomizers, I don't know. And you can get them in different sizes. This, I forget. I don't know how many fluid ounces this is. Anyway, take your, oops, take your fragrance. There's a hole at the bottom. So not all fragrances come off. For instance, oh, this is one that I'm not gonna be able to use because look at the top. Oh my gosh, this is not a good candidate. Okay, I need to fix it. Okay, let me show you a good candidate. Hold on. All right, let's see if this one, let's see if this one works. Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. Take off the top and then take off this top. Yes, here we go. This is what you need. This is what you need right here. So line this up. This is the gauge or, you know, tells you how much you got. And just keep pumping. And if you can see, it's filling up. And now it's full. And then you just close your fragrance, you know, and then there you go. So then here is your atomizer and then you just put it into your purse and then you all set to go. I love it. So that's how I take my fragrances with me on the go. Hello, Victor and Rolf. <laughs> this is almost done. Jeez. Look at me. I'm all dramatic. It's almost done. It's basically almost full, but you get what I mean. <laughs> Good morning. It is Tuesday. Yeah, I had a check. It is Tuesday, and I've been awake since 3.45 is when I had my alarm go off. I used to be really good at getting up at 4. There was a good stretch of time where I was doing that consistently. And for the past month, with all that has been going on, I have fallen off of that. And I don't like that because I like to get up early. There's just something to be said about getting up and starting the day early, be it working out, having a coffee, which I haven't been having as much as I used to, or having my quiet time, worshiping, working. I haven't been reading like I need to either. So any number of those things could take place in the early morning. So I needed to wake up, and I did today. <laughs> 3.45 is when I set my alarm just to, what, like get my body <laughs> ready that, very soon you go and get up up because all the snoozing the next thing you know I'm not awake like I want to be so 345 is when my alarm went off and I was just I got up and I was just standing there 
because I'm like, I want to go back and lay down. Hear the benefits of going back and laying down. I get to sleep and rest, but then hear the benefits of staying awake. I get to work out and start my day, which is what I've been wanting to do. So let me just get up and do it. I had to talk myself through all these things, and then I just got up. So I uh, yeah, I worked out. It wasn't my best workout. It was tough. The workout was tough. I work. I work out with Sydney Cummings on YouTube, and she's good. Some of her stuff is just so difficult. It's just like what. <laughs> what do you want me to do so it wasn't the hottest thing it wasn't the hottest thing today but i did something and that's what matters and here i am now i just read my devotional you know i, I read the trusting god day by day devotional by joyce meyer and i just did that and now i'm about to plug in my what's it called my vlog footage from the past few days and start editing that a little bit. So the way I really have to manage the vlog footage is editing it throughout the week. We've discussed this already. Dropping that into my final cut on my desktop. You know, I'm so grateful that I have a desktop and a laptop. It just, having the two screens to work simultaneously, contemporaneously, it's just important. So I'm just grateful for that. Now, I don't know about you, but my hope is in Jesus. And confess that if I need healing, Jesus Christ is a healer. If I need peace, Jesus Christ offers me peace beyond, beyond all understanding. Let the enemy know that your hope and faith is in the Lord. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy, joy comes in the morning. So whatever situation you're going through, whatever challenge you're facing, be it in your marriage, in your health, or within yourself, the Bible says, Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him and those who hope in his steadfast love. This tells me that things will soon turn around. The things meant to harm you God will turn them around for your good. So whether tomorrow holds great promise or great disappointment, keep your hope in Jesus. Tell me where does this roller coaster reach your sea and stop the coasting? Used to be far with no destination. Honestly, now I'm damn sick of it. Just the same old We be here waiting for a moment Think it's clear that ain't never coming Yeah, lately I'm sad that I'm seeing a lot of you Alright, so here are the flowers I'm a little bit concerned because I feel like the flowers are not as big as I expected It does say in the brochure that these flowers are obviously not what they call it they're like not ready yet i forget it it's somewhere there so obviously it's going to take some time for them to bloom so i i understand that a day or two i want to see how big they get when they bloom each each of the bi-weekly flowers are going to be different and that i understand but i just wonder if this is enough stems my friend carmen renee on ig and youtube has this vase and it's so gorgeous this is from target so this is a lazy susan and it's from Target. I love it. It is so cute and it allows you to just... Ooh, who's that? Okay. Someone is at the front door. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it doesn't... I think this face is humongous. But the face is so beautiful that I don't want to get rid of it. I mean, am I supposed to get filler? Like filler? Filler things to put inside of it? What do you call it? You know, like the filler leaves or whatever? My gosh. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna learn and see. I'm gonna see what they're looking like in two days and see what it do. But I like this face so much. And I'm still loving this Volume Spa candle. My, my, my. It's it's called Suede Noir. It's a very sexy, masculine scent. I got mixed signals.
I am always playing music. Good morning, by the way. What's her name? Alexa, stop the music. I'm always playing music, so it's hard to talk a lot because I'm like doing things, but good morning. It's Wednesday. I have my tea. That tea kettle is so cute from Amazon. I love it. You got to really boil the water on very, very low because it's glass. And I use the paper towel just because, I don't know, just felt like it. But I love how it's already seeped and already just like what it is so when you're drinking your tea you're not having to fight between the tea and the tea bag i love it what i could do is put this syrup in the water that's an option i don't know maybe next time but this is really good and i love those skinny syrups because they're healthy and if you're trying to fast and you want something hot during your fast that's fine because it's zero calorie zero sugar boom boom and boom i need to work out i just realized that i forgot to take my vitamins it's not forgot. It's still morning time. I took my pills that I take in the morning, you know, like my acid reducer, blah, blah, blah. But I need to take my vitamins. I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to work out. I'm going to do Sydney Cummings today, although I really feel like running. Look at me. Like I'd be doing something on the treadmill. <laughs> I'd be doing something. I don't know how fantastic it is. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, yeah. My hair's out. It took me 35 minutes to take it out. You know, here's the thing. If you go to a fine dining restaurant and you spend $150, including your tip, you've eaten the food, you go home, you poop, and the food is down the toilet. You understand? It's also obviously in your body, but it just is what it is, okay? So it's my money and I'm, I'm fine with it. I loved the style. It was heavy. Now I know that that's going to be a style that I'll do if I choose when I'm going on vacation or something. You know, it's like four or five days. That's good enough for me. It was just, my arm is hurting me. What? It was just too heavy to be using. It was too heavy for everyday use, especially working out on top of my head. It was just too much. I ain't got the time. So yeah, it's down. It's my prerogative. I need to shave my face desperately. I'm sure you don't see any hairs, but I can feel them. Just the fuzz, just the fuzz that we all naturally have. I can feel it. And I'm, I'm, I love the way my face feels without all of the fuzz. And I'm spoiled by that. <laughs> so I need to shave my face today. I got some skincare campaigns I want to film. And I would love to do it with a smooth, naked face. Here we go. Ollie Glowing Skim. So what is Ollie gave me a discount code. It is an affiliate code. And if you use it on their site, Ollie.com, you will be able to save 20%. So make sure you use that girl. Don't spend all your money. Okay. Save some of it. Ollie.com. And then here's my women's multi. My sleep ones are finished. I need to reorder. And I already took the hair one. That's part of the hard pills that I take. What do you call them? You know, that's a soft gel, but you know, my daily daily pills that I take, okay? You know I've been blind for years And I've been crying all these tears For a reason that came and went like seasons mm -hmm. But I want this to stay
I showered, <laughs> I gelled back my hair, put a hat on. This hat is from Amazon. I got the oversized one because my head is big and I can't fit regular hats. I just can't fit regular hats. So I'm on my way to get my Brazilian wax. If you watched my vlog from several weeks ago, I went for the first time, no, actually months ago, cause I go once a month and I've been vlogging for what, four months now? I don't know. So yeah. I'm due for a wax. I actually was due last week, but I had a lunch I went to. I didn't have time. I'm going now. I'm so glad I got my nails done. They look fresh and I feel put together. My toes, feel, my hand, my feet feel so soft. My toes look good. I'm just feeling great. Now I'm gonna get a wax. I got my hair pulled back. I love the slick back look. It needs to dry. I have the paper wraps on it. And it's just, it's just all good right now. Oh, and also this sweatshirt, I love it, loved by God. This is a black owned. She's on the Sephora squad, I'll tag her below. Very, very comfy. I bought it a while ago and I'm just now wearing it. It's cloudy outside, so it still works. And I use air conditioning in the car, so it's all good. Hey girl, good evening. Can you, are you getting a glare? Is that is that distracting? Hopefully it's not distracting, but <laughs> I'm wearing my glasses. I wanted to answer a few questions that I'm getting about my Brazilian wax. I wanna answer it here so that it, it's, you know, evergreen content or evergreen information. Should I take this off? I can't really see very well, but I can see, but not how I want to see. Okay, let me walk you through the whole Brazilian wax experience in case it's something that you are considering doing. Now, I go to European Wax Center and I tried it out many, many years ago when I first came to Houston. In fact, they offer a free one-time session. <laughs> and I went, I was like, dang. I mean, I had never done it in my life. It was pretty horrific, okay? I was just working my first full-time job out of master's school and it was too expensive for me. $50 or $55 a month. I was like, I don't really need this right now and it costs a lot of money. So I was like, eh. I did it once or twice and I was like, eh, meh, whatever. And then lately I'm like, you know what? I don't do my, I don't go to the nail salon. I don't go to the hair salon. I don't do my pedicure. I don't get waxes. I don't get anything. I can afford now, and I'm in a much more comfortable financial position, I can afford to do something monthly. Since I do my own nails, I do my own hair, unless I'm getting braids, I do everything by myself at home. I save a lot of money that way. So I was like, screw that. I'm gonna go do something for myself. Let me just go ahead and start doing waxes again because I'm, who wants to have bumps and stuff and all these things? It's just annoying and besides, it was just something to do for myself. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna go and start doing monthly waxes. You know, forget it. And then you saw me do the, massage last week but we gonna have to figure that out because it ain't gonna be tied each month they were doing too much pulling and yanking and, and squeezing it's not for me i decided to do the brazilian waxes so i went to my first one in many many years obviously i had to do my own grooming at home it was equally as horrific as it was the first time each time it is painful in some areas that she waxes but it's it's more manageable and you just gotta keep on going. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so I went the first time and then I signed up for the buy six, get two free, something like that. Buy five, get, I don't know, whatever it is. So I paid for six months or something. I, this just goes to tell you how much I'm paying attention. Whatever, I paid for one of the bundles, okay? So whenever I walk in, I just walk in, hi, I'm here for my appointment, I sit down, I go in the back, there's no, there's no transaction. I have the app and I can sign up for my next appointment there or I do it at the counter. So I paid ahead of time because I know I'm gonna keep on going. It's something that I'm doing for myself. Now, the I didn't know who to go to because I wasn't going already. So they just gave me someone and she's really sweet. So I've just stuck with her because I'd rather go with someone that I've been using a while versus someone new each time. It's just strange. I wasn't uncomfortable because to me, it just reminds me of going to get a pap smear. When I was a teenager, yeah, I didn't like getting past me because it was just weird. You sitting there and here, she go with some spatula. No, not, not a spatula, but you get what I'm saying. It's like tongs and here she go opening up all your muscles and stuff. It's just a lot. And then she puts her whole fist inside of you and pushes down and says, is that hurt? And like, ah. It's like, dang, you know, you over here fisting me and stuff. So when I think about that experience, whenever I go, I always notice that she is engaging me in conversation. And I'm right, I used to be like, why are you talking so much? Like, this is awkward. But it makes sense that she's engaging me in conversation just just casual conversation to take my mind off of what's going on so that it really just passes by quickly. It reminds me of my C-section. Literally, I, they gave me the anesthesia, I laid down, they had the sheet up, and I, I, I think she was like talking to me or my husband was next to me. It was just like, who you? I, I don't even know. And all of a sudden, I feel her like moving my body a little bit. And then she's like, I see a leg. And I'm like, what? You didn't even tell me you cut into me yet. Of course she's not gonna tell me that because you wanna take my mind off of what's going on. So when I think of the this, the 
past me are the same thing. She's asking me about my son, about school, about work, about life, about the weather, weekend plans. And all of a sudden she's like, okay, I'm done. You're like, what? So when it comes to the, the wax, same thing. My first experience, I, I, I just initiated conversation myself because I had a lot of questions because it had been so long. So I told her, I was like, oh, you know, what do I do? Okay. And she told me, put your, put your legs in butterfly position. It is odd. It is cold in the room. And I've asked like, dang, it's mad cold in here. Why is it so cold in here? And I guess it's because of the wax. The wax is piping hot. If that's, if that's what she said, I think that's what she said. It's like, dang, it's mad cold in here. But it's really a fast procedure. So you lay down on the bed with the paper, you know, the sanitizing paper they have on or whatever that paper is called. And then she says, put your legs in butterfly position. And she's stirring the wax. You're looking straight up. It's not like you're, you're at an angle at all. You're looking straight up into the sky. So I had a lot of questions because I wanted to anticipate the pain. Whenever I get blood work done or shot, I don't sit like this and let them just poke me and then I twitch. No, I always look because I want to know when to anticipate the pain. Now, because I'm laying on my back looking straight at the ceiling, I can't anticipate the pain. So I'm asking questions. Okay, so you're going to put one here. Okay, great. Boom. And I can feel her putting the wax on the european wax center wax if i don't know if it's everybody's wax that joint is hot i'm not gonna lie to you i ain't gonna i ain't gonna keep you it is hot wow and i was like dang this is hot i know i'm so sorry it's hot but it dries quickly which is nice it dries fast and she doesn't take a paper onto the wax and rips it the wax itself dries hard and then she uses the stick to lift a little bit and so whenever she begins to lift, I know that the big rip is coming. So she does sections by sections. And I noticed that she might do one side, one side, and then the top. So by the time she finishes the top, the first one, the first strip that she put down is already dry. So then it's like a rip, rip, just to catch a little bit of it. And sometimes she'll use the stick to lift the whole thing or her hand. This is what I can feel because I can't see her. I'm just imagining that that's what she's doing. And she just like rips it, but sometimes it gets like stuck halfway. And so she just rips it again. And it's like, <sighs> you know, and so she's just doing it in section by section. And we're talking, I've gotten to know her. I got, I've gotten to know her, her, what's it called? spring break plans we talked about her going to miami I talk, i've learned about her being in school i've told her about myself we've t we've talked all the time you know just today's for today's appointment i learned about uh situations going on in her family and and all of that so we have conversations i'm not just laying there listening to the walls listening to the a the air condition and then hearing rips in my vagina that's not what's happening so you lay in butterfly position. So your legs are spread open wide. Okay. It's so comfortable. It's just like you're going to a doctor. Very professional. There's nothing ooey gooey about it. And I feel like you can even tell your esthetician. Like, and I've asked her, how did you get into this? How do you like doing it? What is it like? Do you and your coworkers wax each other? Is that weird? Does it feel strange that you work together and you see each other's vaginas? Like, I asked those questions and we were laughing and she'll tell me like, no, no, we're just used to it. This is what we do. So it's not anything that's like, ooh, her vagina, ooh, look at her vulva. No one's doing that. This is not for children. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, because we were laughing, but you know, it's not anything that's like, it's not like kiddish. It's like being at a gym and you change, right? You're not gonna, you're not spreading an ego at the, at the gym in a locker room, but at least like you see someone's body, you're not all like, <laughs> right? So it's a very mature thing. Yeah, you, you spread ego. Butterfly eagle, honey. I mean, that's why it's wide open, okay? And uh, she's just going. She's just putting the strips, putting the strips, touching it. She's wearing gloves. She has a mask on. You have your mask on. You're, you only strip down from the waist down, just like going to the doctor's office. Except at the doctor's office, you do take your top off because you get, you get the breast exam. But you get what I'm saying. Strip from the bottom down. I wear pants or shorts. I don't like necessarily wear a dress or a skirt, but you could if you wanted to make it a little easier for yourself. And... It just is what it is. So she finishes the whole front situation. Some of the rips are more painful than others. <laughs> yeah. And then when it comes to doing the buttock, the crack and the crack, because mm -hmm, the Brazilian is the whole front to back 360 or 180, whatever you want to call it. All right. I don't do bikini wax. I don't want like no landing strip. We trying to take it all out. You know what I'm saying? We trying to get all of it out. You know what I'm saying? That's just what I prefer. I'm sure you could 
ask for designs. <laughs> I know that some people, you know, your flavor might be a landing strip, you know, like the airport. <laughs> you understand? That's not what I like, you get? So yeah, once all of, oh, and so when she does the inner parts of the vagina, you understand? She does need to lay, is it the vulva? Bless his name. I remember D.A.R.E. class, health health class back in uh, high school. That was 85 years ago. Anyway, when she does uh, lay the, I guess it's the vulva, you know, the skin. She does lay the skin over to the side and puts the wax down. And because I can't see anything, it feels like she has the wax where it ain't supposed to be. But when she rips it, it's all good. She's not taking off my skin, you know what I'm saying? But you can't see it. So it's like, oh my God, like where does she have this wax right now? But you know, sometimes there'd be hairs all up in there. Like you gotta get all of it. She's not getting it in like the vaginal canal, but you get what I'm saying. She's really getting all the hair out, okay? This is my esthetician. Isn't this? Yeah, she's an esthetician. It's my esthetician, okay? And she, so she does that part. And, you know, she gets it down on the butt a little bit because you understand she's about to do the back in a second. And then she folds the, the, the skin over and does the other side. Very professional. It doesn't feel, to me, it doesn't feel icky and uncomfortable because I've done it a few, is what, it's been four months now. But to me, talk to the person like, man, this feels so weird. What have you? Be honest. They've waxed hundreds if not thousands of vaginas so why not just be honest and just have conversation like ask questions it goes by really fast honestly it's like eight minutes of a job really and truly we just talk a lot like if we weren't talking i suppose she would go faster we're talking the whole time you know laughing whatever just having conversation then when it comes time to wax the buttocks you got to put your knees to chest so it's like what, what is it called the curled up position like if you curl up in the bed and you hold your knees to your chest, obviously, and your butt is right there, right? And so I remember when I first got it done, I was like thinking, and I asked, cause I'm gonna ask you questions. I'm like, do I have to bend over? And they're like, no, it's knee to chest. And I'm like, oh, okay, good, because I can't imagine that. Now, I make sure I shower before I go all the time. And because like, what? I, she is wearing a mask, but like, come on, I wanna make sure that, they ain't no problems. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no tissue stuck in places. Ain't no fumigation going on. Like, none of that. You get what I'm saying? Sweat, bacteria. We ain't trying to. We ain't trying. To, we ain't trying to be that person. Do you understand? Because you can't tell me that doctors don't be like, yo, the patient I just had. What was going on? You see? I just don't want to be that person. So I always make sure I shower beforehand. Anyway, she does the buttocks, right? Knee to chest, and then she puts the wax down. And that also always feels so crazy because it's like, are my? I'm gonna. I'm gonna say what it is. Are my butt cheeks open? <laughs> this sound bite gonna be so crazy are my butt cheeks open enough for her to get the wax down because knee to chest is it open and i don't know but she that's all they do you ain't got you ain't about to bend over and be opening in butt cheeks like wow the sound bites are gonna be ridiculous okay you're not gonna be bending over and opening butt cheeks it ain't that it's knees to chest it's very professional it's not degrading in any sense again this is a professional it's fast so she puts one strip down one side this the glue the glue the wax dries very 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 quickly and then she lifts it a little bit at the bottom and then it's like a rip sometimes she can get it all in one but not really maybe like halfway and then another halfway what i try to do is gauge where she is so that when she rips it i'm breathing in well is what did i do today was i yeah i try to breathe when she rips it but i don't always catch it on time because i can't watch her and catch it because that's just how it, it works for me and sometimes i do twitch like uh, but you know whatever it's really really quick and then she does the other side put the wax down i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna hold you the wax is freaking hot i, I even said to her like dang this wax is hot she's like i know i'm so sorry you know what are you gonna do you see you put it down and then you know, she picks it up a little bit at the bottom and then, oh gosh, yeah. And she checks and sees, cause she can see if there's some random hairs that didn't get picked up. And then I've seen her put a little bit of wax in certain places, not seen her, I've visualized or I felt her putting wax in, in a few places to get to catch any places that didn't pick up, okay? Now, the nice thing is that the hair grows back less thin, not as 
not as dense as density. It's not as thick as the hair would go back if I weren't getting waxed. So that I love. I love that a lot. I don't have the irritation that I used to have. I love feeling buttery smooth and they do sell serums you can put on your areas to smooth the skin out or whatever but I do my own exfoliation and you do want to exfoliate your nether regions to really help ensure that you don't get the ingrown hairs but like I said with the waxing it's just so different. I don't get those rashes and bumps that I used to get before. I don't get those anymore. And I think that with waxing, because I'm not getting the irritation that I would get with, with my, whatever other procedures I was doing, it lessens the potential for me to have hyperpigmentation. You know, if you have darkness in between your legs and you don't like it, it's probably because of the irritation that you may be experiencing from whatever hair removal process you're you're doing. The rashes, the scratching, the irritation, the what Okay, let me just show you a little bit about my Peloton. Now I do recognize that this was recalled. However, users do have the option of keeping it if we can keep it in a safe place and don't feel like it's a safety hazard. And we do not feel like it's a safety hazard. So here we go. This is the Peloton. Now, right now it's not on. And it's not on because I have the safety piece in front of me. So really what people should be doing, why isn't this focusing? Really what people should be doing is taking this out so that if a child or anyone tries to come on here and use this it says safety key pulled this is what makes it go and move it's red it's not going to work this is what makes it go up and down the incline it's red it's not going to work so this has to be put in it in order for it to work okay so we're going to just make sure that we have this safety key pulled out and then whenever we want to use it we put the safety key back in that's an effort to make sure that no one, no little child can get on this and start using it without permission. They shouldn't be using it at all, obviously. Here's how you put it in, let's see. Here we go. And it's magnetic. So here's one part. See how it already changed color and you heard a click? And then here's the other part. And I think this can clip to you. I mean, I don't know, whatever. I don't, I don't take it out when I'm using it. Okay, and then here we go. Now it is fully able to work. Now, if I were to touch this, let me go on this side, then it's gonna incline and go back down. So if this safety situation is pulled out, there's no way that anyone can touch this Peloton. It is easy to forget and leave it here, but the key is to just take this out. So we're going to make sure. Nee does not touch the Peloton. He doesn't come over here, but to ensure optimum safety and security, we're going to make sure we do really what it, we're supposed to do, which is take this out. When you take both of these out, it turns red, meaning none of these are working. Like I told you, that's the incline. You roll it forward to go up, you roll it backward to go down, or you can jump from one level, two level, three level by just pressing that. And then here is the speed, same. Roll it forward to go fast, roll it back to slow down, or you can jump from speed of one, two, three, four, five, six by just pressing it. I'm about to work out. Let me get my sneakers on and let me show you one or two things. Signing in, what? Oh, <laughs> okie dokie, here we go. Important safety recall, let's see. You'll get a refund if you return by November 6, 2022. Oh wow, so you have a year and a half to return this, what, change your mind. All right, you can relocate it in your home, they can come and do it for you. It's gonna be an automatic update to add a four digit passcode to use it, awesome. And then there'll be an automatic lock when not in use. So that will take the place of this. So we're supposed to take this out, but I suppose if you forget to do that, this is saying that they're gonna do it automatically, which is great. Don't share the passcode, that's good. Okay, acknowledge, good. At first I was like, damn, you gotta return this. I love this and we don't have any issues, but good. We don't have to return it and we, we feel safe about keeping it. Awesome. So up here, what I love is 
They always have classes that are going on right now or coming up that I can join. The great thing about the Peloton Tread is that you have the app, so you buy the you buy the product, but then you also need to buy the subscription. And in the app, you can all you can access all of the programs, the biking, the walking, the hit, the boot camp, the yoga, full strength, everything you can think of. It's all in the app and it's all is it here too? I don't think it's here too. Yeah. But it's in the app. So if you're running outside, you can actually use the, like, listen to what they're saying and it can guide you if that's what you want. Or if you're doing boot camp workout and you want to do a body weight one, you can follow it. So like I do on the TV with, with YouTube with Sydney Cummings, I do her boot camp type workouts. Peloton has all of that. But I'm just used to her. I like her, so I stick with her. But I use the Peloton for the running. So that's a great thing about the app when you sign up for the subscription. So this is the main page when I come to. Girl, I don't be working out on here as much as I should, but I'm, we're going to change all of that. You can look at the instructors. I have some faves already just based on their personalities. It's really fun. And then my daily picks. I guess that's my favorites. I'm still trying to figure that out. Or well, not like favorites, but bookmarks, I guess. Okay, so you have featured classes. Classes. You can take a look and you can join live classes or you can do the replays. I'm always doing replays because I'm just busy. I don't be joining the live ones, but the live ones sound fun too. All right. And here are all the options. Most popular, right? So you, excuse me, let me zoom you in. You have most popular right now. You can do 10 minute strength classes, challenges, recommended artists. I guess it's classes where they're playing their music, featured tags. I did one with Black History Month and it was really good. We got Peloton, Beyonce, HBC. You, you know, and they play that music. So it's fun. If, if that's what gets you pumped up, it's great. Howard, Morehouse, Spellman, love to see it. Okay. So, and this is touchscreen. It's huge. I just love it a lot. Okay. So now down here you have programs and you can, you can do stuff on the app and queue up the classes you want to take or just come here. So yeah, you got what running programs, road to 5k strength, total body, strong core, etc. You got classes here. So yes, this is what I mean. So you can still see it here. So on the app and on this TV screen, you can still see the tread classes, the running classes, boot camp classes, walking, strength, cardio, stretching, yoga, and meditation. You can see it here. So let's say you had this and you had space behind you. You can play the meditation class and be on the floor on your mat or whatever doing the stuff. You can play the yoga class on this TV screen and then you're watching it, but you're on the floor doing all of the moves, which is fantastic because this this thing is really big. I don't know how many inches this is, but this is pretty big. Love that. So the, here are the tread classes. You can organize it by instructor, by length, by music, genre. And this is like everything, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So I keep it on tread because I'm using it just for the tread, obviously. And then here's the schedule. You can actually make a schedule. You can choose the classes for the week that you want to take. I do it on the phone and then you get an idea of, okay, this is what I'm doing when. And so these are the classes for today, 930, 1230, etc. And then tomorrow, count me in just adds it to your calendar and in your phone calendar will give you a reminder when it's time, which is nice. So yeah, maybe I'll do some of these. I should do a live class. It just feels fun when you know what's actually happening while you're doing it as opposed to it already happened. So this is really great and it's organized by the tread classes. You can organize it by the running classes or the, cause I guess this, I guess this also means outside. I don't know, boot camp, walking, what have you, which is great. All right. And then I reached out your challenges and this is more, I don't go here. Yeah, so this is it. I love it. I love this treadmill, and I'm glad that we have the option to keep it, just as long as we keep everything safe, which we know we can do, okay? So for today, let's see. 9.30 boot camp. I don't want to do that. I want to run today. I want to run, so where are we at? Okay, none of those are going to be live. Let's see. Feature classes. I want to run. Let me go here. Classes, tread, length. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Let's keep it to tread. I want to look at here. I can go to new. No, not easiest, but okay. I don't want boot camp. I want to run. Okay, so you have 20 minute hit run intervals. I'd be so confused. Like intervals, that's challenging. See advanced. Yep, it's challenging. Like I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that to myself. Progression run, that's going to be challenging too. I'm not going to do that to myself. I'm a beginner. Beginner intervals, maybe. Maybe I'll do 20 minutes and then do something else after that. You know, why not take classes back to back depending on how much time that you have intermediate intervals run that ain't me I'm not it 
I'm not her. Okay, let's see. And then like I've worked, I've taken classes with some of these instructors. So I just know whose personalities are really fun and funny. Let's see. And I know the bike people, people love the bike trainers too, but obviously I don't have the bike. So I don't do, I don't look at the bike classes, but that, wait, is that not here? Oh, it doesn't show me. I just realized it's not showing me bike. Forget it. These are all on the treadmill. Uh -huh, so funny. Okay. On the phone, in the app, it does show you the bike classes. Excuse me. I stand corrected. Yeah. And I love it. So sometimes it's 20 minute pop run or 20 minute reggae run or hip hop run or whatever, which is fun. Nine, okay. 20 minute nineties run, Justin Bieber run. So depending on what you, you know, here we go. 20 minute reggae walk. I love Selena Samuela. She is funny. I feel like, I feel like she got some black in her or some black friends and I'm just, I feel her vibe and it just makes me so happy, but I don't want to walk. So I'm not going to take that, but I love Selena. I got country walk, pop run, EDM, walk and run, progression run. Oh, I thought I said thick chicks. It says 30 minute, the chicks. I thought that said thick chicks. I was going to say, oh, that's me. Let's take it. What you saying? House run. I like Jess King too. She's really funny and sweet. I love it because they be, they be running, but they be like dancing and stuff. And that makes me happy. Okay. 20 minute Caribbean run. So this one already happened on the 20th. He's funny. I think I did this one before because the music really be making you like, hey, shake that in a like a logic, you know, it's just like, what? let me get my body running, you know, let's say you didn't want to do the classes. You can just start walking. So here, you hear that? It's just starting to move. <laughs> oh, let me not. <laughs> I'm trying to demonstrate. I'm not trying to run right now, but you see how I'm not doing a class at all, but it's still moving. Let's go. Let's walk. There's just a little walk, you know, uh -huh, to a book, right, good. So you can just be on here and I believe that you can cast from your phone or your TV something onto here. I have not done it, but it has Bluetooth and it does, it does come with an ear, how you say it, ear pods, ear, whatever, which is great. Yeah, you can cast to this. Peloton, Peloton, what's up? Come on. What up? I'm about to sign in for my therapy appointment. Better help is what I use. I got my automatic notification. I got postal bot, postal, whatever. Okay, Ooh, let me charge my laptop so we don't get disconnected. I've been using BetterHelp for a year now and it's been a blessing. I learned about it from Women Evolve, Sarah Jakes Roberts podcast, Women Evolve, and I've been using it for a long, for a year now and I love it. It's such a blessing to me. Okay, I haven't seen her in a minute. She was on vacation, so. And we meet weekly. What, now I have to verify? Select images with cars. Wait, what, why, why am I having to do this? Ah. So you log into the platform on your phone or your computer, and then she calls. So I do video, you can do phone, phone conversation, but I like to, it, it feels more, there's more of a connection when you do video. And it's through the platform, it's not via phone. She doesn't have my phone number, and I don't have her phone number. All these messages, please. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Oh, oh, afternoon. 